Welcome to my outdoor kitchen. I'm, this is Freedom Homestead. My name is Tangi and I am washing dishes in the great outdoors because yesterday I was in the midst of um, canning salsa and peppers and I was, um, I was working on uh, cooking dinner and then my son calls from downstairs and says, Mom! There's water leaking in the basement, which, you know, if you know our story, that's like the last thing you want to hear. So, um, anyway, so yeah, we, uh, we see, we tried to see if we could figure it out. Well, hello there. Uh, hey Monica. Hey Anna. Um, so we, we looked at it ourselves to see if we could figure it out, if it was something that we would be able to, uh, fix. And unfortunately, um, it's not. I think this is going to involve be drywall being removed and um, and things like that. Hello, everyone. Well, hey, hey, Sodbuster Living. A canner, please help. Okay, what what do you need help with? And I'm gonna wash while I ch while I talk to you guys. Um. So what I've done is I've brought some tables out here, canning green beans. Never canned in quartz before okay um just came to awesome i did three quarts in the bottom of my presto three quarts of water okay uh, and while she's typing i'm gonna anyway so yeah so i've got some wash tubs. I've got the water hose, which actually makes washing dishes a little easier because you can power blast the stuck on stuff. But I had unloaded my dishwasher and had been loading it all day. And we can't run the dishwasher because the drain is connected to the pipe of the sink drain. So now I'm having to hand wash all of the dishes and this is fun. And so, okay, so we called a professional uh, once I added seven quarts in, the water rose to the neck. Is that okay for pressure canning? Yes, it is. That is perfectly okay for pressure canning. Um, it does not have to completely cover for pressure canning. Um, and with the volume and everything, that's, that is quite all right. You're in good shape. Um, called a professional, and they said... Uh, that they have some wiggle room on Friday. Uh, yes, you, you will be good. And let me let me tell you this. I'm so glad you said that because um, you know a lot of people are afraid to pressure can. And as long as you are following the rules, and um, if you have a newer pressure canner, by newer I mean like within the last ten years. This traffic is so loud. Um, there are so many safety features built in that it's it's hard to make it blow up not saying that it can't happen just saying that you almost have to be doing it on purpose for it to happen you know what i'm saying uh but yeah just follow just follow the rules and you should be in good shape um so the professionals said they have wiggle room on friday and as long as uh oh there's a huge horse fly oh my gosh it's huge please don't come over here I don't have a flask water. I do have a water hose. Hang on. I'm gonna protect y'all. Just a second. I may have just made it mad. Ah. Um, anyway, uh, they have wiggle room on Friday, so they might be able to come out on Friday. But if, um, but if any of their appointments go over, they won't be able to come out until Tuesday. So we're looking at possibly six days without a fully functioning kitchen in the middle of canning season. So that's fun. I've got you guys in my little basket that I set up. It's got my utensils and whatnot. Um, I saw, <laughs> yeah, my angles. It's actually, it's actually not bad. I enjoy it um, because there's, you know, birds chirping and fresh air and, um we've seen a few amish buggies go by so that's fun but uh anyway so how is y'all's day going mine's fine except for 
this little glitch, but it's not really that bad. It's, it's kind of like camping, it's kind of like camping, but not. <laughs> Maybe this is more like glamp glamping. That really sounded disgusting, didn't it? Um, anyway, so what are you guys cooking for dinner tonight? Y'all probably saw my grocery haul and I shared all of my, um, my, my menu plan, but I'm afraid I might have to change it slightly. Um, just to, you know, make easier dishes that don't require a lot of prep work and a lot of dirtying up dishes. But I did go to uh, Dollar General and I bought uh, some throwaway pans and some um, paper plates and stuff like that just to make less work for mama. Cause you know, there's just too much to be going on to have to not, to not be able to use my sink. Baked chicken thighs, carrots, and probably some sort of potato. That is delicious. That sounds really good. My husband, he says the reason why he cannot do keto is because potatoes are not on the plan. Tomato and cheese sandwiches, yum, because I'm canning beans, no time for dinner making. I know, isn't that funny? You work so hard all day to preserve food, but then when it's time to actually make food for your people, it's like, no, I don't think I will. <laughs> Just fend for yourself. I actually, last night after um, cooking and canning all day, um, I was very tempted to say it's a fend for yourself night, but I, uh, I had thought out some sirloin um, to do steak bites and I really, really wanted it. So I went ahead and cooked it. Um, let's see, I'm missing y'all's, ah, no, no, no. Uh, good to see you, I miss what's happening with your kitchen. Um, we have a leak in the, um, in our kitchen sink and it's leaking into the basement and so our sink we can't even pour anything down the drain so that has really really you know cramped my style all right let's go back to the comments i can't see all messages are visible <laughs> okay unfortunately for yours truly some of your um they're going by too fast and i'm missing them okay here we go Let's see, pork loin, bottom of sale this morning at Kroger Manager Markdown. Oh, love those. Zucchini pizza boats for dinner, that sounds good. Broccoli slaw over sweet potatoes, yum. Oh my goodness, gumbo, I love gumbo. I'm trying not to sneeze, okay. Going back up, let's see. Grocery shopping does the same thing, yes it does. Shop for all the food and you're tired, yep, exactly, exactly. Uh, making a stew like dish with leftover tri-tip and some purslane. I harvested from my garden. Yum. Um, all of that sounds super duper good. I have a bunch of ground beef thought out and I know I have nachos on the meal plan. So that is probably what's going to happen because that will be really easy. And, um, Jack just got home from work and I think he's actually going to set up my, um, my chef, camp chef stove. Um, oh, you're eating out for your sister's birthday. Happy birthday to your sister. Birthday dinners are always so fun. My father-in-law over the last few years has made um, Shogun his favorite uh, place to eat. That's where they, um, they cook the Chinese food in front of you or the Asian food in front of you. And then they like throw in the air and then you have to catch it in your mouth. So yeah, birthday dinner is always great. Um, but here, I'll turn y'all around and kind of show you my setup. It's... Uh, it's very Cousin Eddie, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Hang on, let me turn you around. Okay, so there's the water, uh, the water hose, and that's my pressure canner. I've got some dishes soaking in there and the water hose. And then this is the pallet table that Jack made me a few years ago, and I just covered it with um, a Star Wars tablecloth because... You know, I need the force with me right now. Um, I got some dish pans. This is what I'm going in and bringing the dishes out with. And I mean, I had a bunch of dirty dishes. Like I said, canning, cooking all day. Dishwasher was full. Um, and then, so this is wash, rinse. Um, and that's, of course, that's my drying towel, my soap. And then, of course, you have to have your trusty mosquito spray. It wasn't the mosquitoes that were getting me or the flies. And that totally works because they've not landed on me since I've been out here. And then this is where I'm setting up to dry. So yeah, so yeah, it's like um, somebody mentioned, or it was Sod Buster that mentioned um, 
Ma Ingalls, I also think of, yes, as long as somebody cooks, I agree. Um, it makes me think of the Boxcar Children. Did you guys read that book? I love those books. There's my handsome hubby. He's coming to, are you helping, are you coming to help me wash dishes? Help me wash dishes? Yeah. Well, I was gonna see if you needed anything extra set up. Hey, everybody. Hey. <laughs> Um, well, you mentioned the canopy, which yeah. we don't have to do that right now, but the camp stove would be cool if you want to, if you feel like getting that out. Are you going to use it now? Well, I thought about cooking dinner on it, making, I mean, I just have some ground beef thought out. I thought about making, um, something simple like tacos or nachos. We can try it out. Yeah. He got it for me for Christmas and I have not gotten to use it yet. Yeah. Is anybody watching? Yeah. Yeah. We've got several, we've got 52 folks with us. Cool. And uh, some good chats. Everybody tell me what they're going to have for dinner. I was just wondering if this is where you wanted it set up or if you wanted it set up more in between the house and garage. No. No, because or if I have to use this, if I have to use this during the day, this side of the house gets more shade than mm -hmm. the rest of it. So I think this, this will work for me. And plus, like now the sun is right behind that tree and it's, I'm, I'm yeah. getting shaded. So it's perfect, actually. But, um, but anyway, yeah, so here we are in the throes of uh, <laughs> garden season. And I actually, I have a table full of stuff and I have not been out to the garden today. And I know there's a okra I need to pick and tomatoes. So, um, just a lot going on. Yes, my new outdoor kitchen. It is very, um, like I said, very Cousin Eddie. Look like you, oh, I know it's not level, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine, just how it is. Okay, um, yeah, see, cause then the water runs off. Oh. Oh. This is what the dogs do. We have lived here for four years, over four years. And it never fails that when the Amish go by, I think you'll be able to see them here, yep, there they are. When the Amish go by, the dogs freak out. They have not gotten used to them, not yet, it's crazy. Anyway, they're slowing down. I wonder why. Hey, Jack. Yeah. They might need to talk to you. Oh, maybe not. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, they're they're working with the horse. Okay, never mind. <laughs> um, but anyway. All right. So let's see. You're making potato, egg, and bacon breakfast tacos for dinner. Oh my goodness, that sounds amazing. Wear yourself out in the heat today. I hear you. I hear you. Thankfully, right now, sorry, I'm trying to get y'all situated where it's a good angle. Where y'all can see me and you're not like looking at my nose. Um, thankfully, there was a breeze today and that has really helped tremendously. Uh, but yeah, the heat and I know in our area, we're supposed to be getting more. Um, next week, it's supposed to be in the three digits again. It's like there's no reprieve. And I was actually, I was telling um, my friend Kimberly, who has a blog called Scratch Made Confessions. What are you doing? Oh, I think he's holding it up. Thanks. Um, anyway, I was telling her, I was like, I am so tempted to start using my false scented stuff around the house just to trick my brain that it's a little cooler. But I don't know, I kind of feel like that's cheating. I'm gonna suffer through the heat. So that way it just, you know, we'll enjoy fall even more. So, um, but need, yeah, need your tripod out here. I do need my tripod out here. <clears throat> you can get that too if you want to. <laughs> uh, hey, Kathy. We've had a few very comfortable days in Minnesota, but back in the '90s next week. Ugh. Yeah, it's. I actually enjoy the summer. I don't mind the summer heat, but you know these are very unusual unusually hot it's we'll have a we normally have a few super hot days in the summer in our part of kentucky but um we do not wow there's got a lot of folks joining us i really didn't think anybody would want to come watch watch me wash dishes <laughs> i wish y'all were here to help <laughs> There's hot and then there's smothering in the heat and humidity hot, right? Um, that's like the other day. Oh yeah, that's the, that's, I like that tripod. Let me hang on. Uno momento, por favor. Um, you're mostly enjoying the heat. Yeah, I really don't mind it. Um, it's just the, uh, oh yeah, that's so much better. 
that that angle <laughs> that angle really works for me it's a lot more flattering thanks babe let's see if you are using a water bath to can you can do that outside yes I and I probably will do that um, we might have to refill our propane tank How's that look? looks good, good. All right. um, this thank is you our, missing our Monday night live. Uh, sure, sure. Yeah, we missed our Monday night because I was trying to get some uh, get some uh, food put up from the garden. And oh, uh, Rachel, you're so sweet. Have these been washed already? Yes, everything's been washed. But don't use that. I got plastic cups. It's got soap suds in it. That's okay. Ain't gonna hurt you. <laughs> um, hey, can you bring me more dishes? I'm almost done. I just have a few pots. Like those. Where are they at? Uh, I have one pot on the counter that's got some other dishes in it, and then I've got my water bath canner on the stove. Oh. But yeah, I mean, this is actually kind of fun. This is definitely more enjoyable than washing dishes inside, for sure. And I like I like hanging out with y'all. It's it's passing the time. Can you guys tell that my face is a little more slimmer? I sure can. Freedom Homestead is in Kentucky? Absolutely. What did I can today? Nothing because of my kitchen being out of order since last night. So I am washing, yes, I am washing last night's dishes and I know that's gross, but today we've been running around trying to get some other things taken care of. And I kind of waited until it was a little cooler outside too, since I knew I was gonna have to wash dishes in the house. We cannot even pour anything down our drain, Kathy. Hi, Shakima. Um, but yeah, we can't pour anything down the drain. Like, can't even empty cups, can't run the water, can't do nary a nothing in the sink. Where do you want it? Uh, right here, please. Right, where? Here. Here. Uh, I'm gonna put that on the ground and okay. soak it. Right. Oh. But yeah, haven't, uh, yeah, it's, 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 well, and I will tell you this too. Hey, girls, <laughs> get out of there. Um, yeah, you gotta watch yeah. Um, so today, like I said, I went to, um, my kitchen, the, the drain from the sink, uh, the kitchen sink is busted and it's leaking into our basement and, um, my husband looked at it trying to figure out if he can fix it, but it looks like it's, it may require uh, busting drywall out. <laughs> good times, good times. When it rains, it pours. You know, one of those things. Well, and, no, we, uh, but we, it's, it's a little above our skill set. We fixed it when we were adding on to the house, when we were doing the construction. We fixed it then. Yeah, it turns out we didn't fix it as well as we thought we did. If it's the same issue, which right. I think it is, but it it's possible it might not be. Yeah. And if I'm it gonna is, move y'all over here so I can dry. Yeah, I'm gonna dry some of these dishes so I can set more in the <laughs> in the drainer. Um, oh, what? If you watched our Monday Night Live a couple weeks ago, we were talking about issues in the chicken coop mm -hmm. with with rats getting in there and. We hope that issue has been resolved mm -hmm. because we have gotten rid of said rat. <laughs> we uh, hope. And we, we, if more come back, we will get rid of them too. Yes. So just to update on that. Um, oh, and you know the beauty of washing your dishes outside is that the, these dishes are practically dry. <laughs> They're air drying so much faster. Um, so yeah, so that's what's that's what's going on with the um, with the sink and why I can't use it. But that is okay because this is way more fun. Oh shoot, what did it say? We just replaced our garbage disposal. It leaked everywhere. No! Oh, don't you hate that? Oh, I know what I was saying. Now I went to Dollar General to get some like throwaway pans and um, paper plates and stuff. And I was talking to the cashier and I told her what had happened. And it's like, you know, we talk about being prepared, but there's just some things, you know, we're not prepared for everything. <laughs> it's like, I, I, I didn't know that my, uh, my sink would go completely out, but, but I did make a mental note that throwaway pans 
probably not a bad thing to prep. I do have some just left over from like the holidays or whatever, but um, throwaway pans, disposable. I do have disposable, uh, some disposable um, like cups and bowls and stuff, but I didn't want to break into those, so I just got some more. But, uh, but yeah. So this is this is actually working out really nice being outside. Um, you know, I really love I love Stacy from um, Off the with Doug and Stacy. Her kitchen, oh, her her I guess her outdoor canning kitchen isn't that gorgeous. Throwaway pans are awesome. Um, oh, for drying seeds, that's a really great idea. Hey, Minute Man, how are you? Better than washing in the bathtub? Yes, and I had actually considered that, but I thought there's no way with grease and food particles and it's a bathroom, I just can't, I just can't. Oh, anyway, I was asking y'all earlier if you could tell if my face was slimmer. So I mentioned in my grocery haul today that I've started back on keto and I've already lost a few pounds and I can really tell it uh, in my face. Um, and I mentioned that I was having some issues which seems to be already clearing up. And that makes me really happy. So I'm really happy about that. Uh, let's see. My Amish friends live in the Mammoth Cave area. Well, that is very cool because we are actually not terribly far from there. Uh, true story. I had a maintenance guy plug the holes in my garbage disposal, told the office that they need to replace it, not plug the holes. Girl, you ain't kidding. Thank you, Kathy. I am so, I'm so very happy. I was very relieved. Um, yeah, it was definitely a praise report when I realized that uh, things were working the way they should. <laughs> I called, I didn't call him, I, I sent Jackie a text at work and uh, he was also very happy because I was very close to making a doctor's appointment. Let's see. Goodness, somebody just walked out of the basement, I think. Let's see. Um, fantastic. Oh, he's got the the camp, the camp chef. Uh, that was a great video. I saved it to my favorite list to watch later so I can watch it again. Thank you for making the video. I hope it gets one million views. Thank you. That's so nice. Well, that's yeah. that's Hello America. Yep. That's that was my um that was my Christmas gift. And we haven't used it yet. It's been it's still in the box. Shakima says only lost ounces. Way to go. Thank you. Yeah. It's it keeps I keep losing signal. Um, let me get back to the house. Yeah. Um, but they said that if they have um, they can come out this Friday, they have some wiggle room, but if any of their appointments run over, then they won't be able to come out. But they did have their next available scheduled appointment was Tuesday. And so they're going to try it. If anything, they'll be here Tuesday afternoon. Yeah, sorry about that. I think I'm outside. The, the signal was breaking up just a little bit. On the wrong. I might be, but it's, it's kind of too late to go back now. Um, but anyway, uh, let me get these get dishes out of the drainer really quick. Huh? We should be getting a strong signal out here. You shouldn't have any issues. Yeah, this definitely, this definitely puts me in the mood for camping for sure. Feel really bad I haven't been able to keep up with what's going on. Harvest season is a jungle. You are not kidding. Yeah, that's that's the one thing. Like, you know, if I can't do dishes, that's a bummer. But it's um, and I'm still gonna be able to can. It's just you know, it's just gonna be a little bit more difficult. Your face does look thinner. Good girl. Thank you. Thank you. I can really tell too. I'm. I'm really like, I don't know. I just, I don't want it to be an excuse because I hate the victim mentality. I just do, I, I despise it. Um, so I hate to even say anything about what happened last year and how it's taken a toll on me more than I've cared to admit. And, um, but I really feel like, even though maybe in my mind I didn't feel stressed out, I think my body has taken the brunt of it. And so because of that, you know, there's a lot of weight gain. If you guys remember last year, I started having issues with my heart. Um, I had to wear a heart monitor for 24 hours. Then there's been some other things. 
and um, and then on top of that just you know the house is still under construction even though we're really close to being done um, it's just like we can't move on and it's just it's really frustrating and then um, you know but I did declutter my house and that really really helped um, thank you Lisa um, that really helped uh, decluttering and um, I don't know what I was waiting for I don't know why I hadn't done it already I just hadn't um, well Miss Gail I'm glad you're here I hope to see you a lot more often we normally go live on Monday nights but like I said because of um, trying to get on top of everything we had just brought in from the garden um, I didn't we didn't go live Monday night so but yeah this is this is really fun I'm, I'm glad I'm glad that you're here um, Oh, uh, I don't know if there's very many people, new people coming in. Um, but yeah, so with all that, what, what I was getting at is that I just, I need to be more um, proactive instead of reactive. And I kind of feel like that's where I have been the last, um, you know since May of last up and I'm trying I'm really trying but you know it just kind of gets to a point where enough is enough in Wisconsin nothing is ready just yet um, just watering so far oh, okay well good 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 um hopefully you'll have a really really abundant year because with everything happening uh, in our economy it's just you know the more you, you can do for yourself the better off you'll be for sure check this out hey hey oh that looks so good can y'all see that Hang on. Look at that. That is awesome. It's very, very cool. Oh, wow. That's really sturdy. Yeah, and it comes with a, a little bit of a, a Oh, a windbreaker? Strain. Very cool. Yeah. We were, where were we? Uh, we were at, oh, what is it called? Not Cabela's. The other place. Can't, nope. Gander Mountain? Nope. Rural King? Nope. The place in Missouri. Oh, Bass Pro Shop. Bass Pro Shop. We were at Bass Pro Shop um, earlier earlier this year. Cool. Uh, earlier this year, and we saw that there are a lot of accessories that you can get for the, the Camp Chef. Like, you can get a flat top. So, that's definitely something I would love to get. Because, you know, everybody's got those... Um, griddles or black stones or whatever you want to call them. I know my parents have one and they love it. Uh, um, and anyway, that would just be really fun to do like hibachi type, hibachi type stuff. So, um, let's see. Tangie, in case you didn't see this, allow yourself plenty of grace. I did see that. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, and that's what I was saying. It's like, I, I try to be because I know I know it was a crazy year and um, but you know there there is a point where you have to say okay it's time to put your big girl pants on and and move on well hey there glad you're here let's see oh and that is what Minuteman said he agreed with okay yeah I appreciate that y'all I appreciate y'all um, comfort me that way but uh but yeah i just you know you, you can only be a victim to your circumstance for so long and then it's time to like i said put your big girl pants on and and start doing something about it instead of letting it take control of your life so yeah where do you want this i have no idea I don't know where you think would be a good, safe, flat space. Well, I guess kind of right there, but I don't want to leave it there overnight, do you? No. I think I'm going to get to cook on my Camp Chef stove tonight, y'all. I'm excited. Cowboy up. Yes, I love that. I love that. Because Homestead, Homesteader up just doesn't have the same flow. Hello, Miss Denise. Glad you're here. I love Farmer and Adele Acres. So is your name Adele? That is so cute. You have the same bowl set, the yellow ones. I actually got this at um, 
not an estate sale necessarily. It was um, a woman. She had um, had recently gotten divorced and was moving. And um, let's see, we have a next griddle. Ah, oh, hang on. I hate that the chats like fade away before you can read them. How do I? How do I get it back? All right, we there. Okay, sorry. I was trying to scroll to find uh, what you said, and then it it made me go away. I don't know what's up with that. Uh, anyway. Uh, anyway, she was she was downsizing. They had a really big house with a lot of stuff, and then she decided to sell almost everything and buy a smaller home. So anyway, I'm almost done with my dishes, you guys. I'm so excited. I won't have uh, stinky dishes anymore. Oh, but that reminds me, Parker needs to take the garbage out because that is smelling. Uh, so what are you guys canning right now? Um, I have mostly been canning salsa, praise the Lord. I, I cannot tell you how excited we are to have a whole bunch of homegrown salsa back in our pantry. We really, really missed it last year. It was like one of the hardest parts, I think, of not having a garden <laughs> was not getting to have homegrown salsa. And um, I also didn't want to can on their the stove at the house that we were staying at because the burners did not work properly and so we just um we just did without so we're making up for lost time but i have also i've canned some pepperoncini peppers for the first time ever it's my first time canning them i did them just like i did my jalapenos i have like a one-stop shop type of brine that i use for peppers and um let's see food pantry gave us six grocery bags of green beans definitely homegrown with dirt clumps on them so thankful that is amazing i love that canning okra butternut squash and chicken awesome um, are any of you guys going to be participating in the um every bit every bit counts challenge uh, young america's foundation is having a conference right now and youtubing the live with speakers all about freedom it's been awesome i love that yeah that is something that definitely definitely needs to be talked about more and more speaking of which if you guys get a chance um check out the texas boys videos that they put out today and check out off grip of doug and stacy's video they put out today or yesterday i can't remember i think it was today Still trying to move. Oh no! Let's see. Collecting bits for every bits count. Yes! Oh, I'm so glad. Yeah, I, I think I'm going to participate also. Um, and I was I was telling my friends. I don't know if Anna's still here, but we have like a group. Um, Marco Polo, and um, I was like, you know, wouldn't it be cool? Because here in our part of Kentucky, the end of our our first frost date is like near the end of October. And I was like, wouldn't it be awesome if I was, you know, if, if, if all of us put up something every day until we just couldn't do it anymore. And I know like the burnout, you know, you can get burned out. Uh Oh, my phone. I think my phone is dying. Switch to mine. Um, I don't think we can do that. Can we? If I lose y'all, it's because my phone died. I'm so sorry. But anyway, I'll, I'll say this really quick. Um, if you put up something every single day, whether it's can freezing, dehydrating, uh, fermenting, you know, just something, some way to put aside food until you can't anymore from your garden, whatever you forage, whatever you hunt. Imagine how much food that you will have saved up when, you know, when it's time to rest. Um, that in that dead winter when of course that's a good time to start canning dry beans and meat from the freezer anything else that you put in your freezer but um, you know it's, it's a little bit more slow pace you can do it when you get around to it instead of having to do it right away um, but yeah so I'm definitely it'll be my first time participating in the every bit counts challenge but if you don't know what I'm talking about um, check out three rivers homestead I think she put out a video today about it um, just a reminder that next Monday is the first day of August and she challenges everyone to put up something. It doesn't have to be a bunch of things. You don't have to can. It doesn't have to be anything complicated. It's just preserve something in some way for later every day in the month of August. And then um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take like little snapshots of my phone during the week and then compile it all in one video. Um, it won't be any, um, it won't be any tutorials or anything like that. It'll just be, you know, right now I am 
dehydrating tomato skins or right now I am uh, canning green beans, you know, something like that, and then put it all together. And that way I'll also have a record for next year to see what I was able to put up. And that'll also kind of give me a way to gauge what I can be doing the next year. Um, let's see, planning to do that challenge and excited. Awesome. I had a bunch of cucumbers, just juice them all and put them in ice cubes in the freezer. That was so easy. Yes, that is so awesome. Um, oh yeah, and then putting it in water and having like a cucumber water without the cucumber, that'd be really good. Um, and also another thing to listen to, I was listening to um, uh, the pantry chat with um, Homestead family. And they of course were talking about inflation and how things, like right now things are difficult, but next year, is when things are gonna get really difficult. And Jack and I were actually talking about this. And, you know, and I told him, it's, it's not a spirit of fear. It should never be out of a spirit of fear, but it should just be being aware and preparing the best you can. Um, but, you know, things are bad now, but it's right, like right now, there's still meat in the stores. Um, but because of the, um, the cost of grain, the cost of fuel, uh, the drought, a lot of farmers are going to have to be selling their stock now because they're not going to be able to afford to feed them or give them water. And so that's all going to snowball into next year. So um, get the cheap meats. Um, get, I mean, I know, you know, we're all about nutrition and buying local and doing all of that, but you also have to make sure that your family is fed. Um, and so you do what you need to do. Okay. Do what you need to do. Yes. Make sure you get plenty of nutritious foods, but you also have to make sure that belly bellies are filled. Um, a <laughs> good time to go vegan. Uh, well, I'm not going vegan unless I absolutely have to, but, um, you know that's not that's not for everybody but if people are open to it that's a you know that would be something to do uh, anyway well I'm gonna go ahead and hop off here um, since my um, phone looks like it's trying to die on me and I also have a few more um, pots that have been soaking that I'm really gonna have to put some elbow grease and it's gonna be really hard to talk and do that at the same time um, yeah also yeah somebody said hunting and fishing yes um, gardening hunting fishing buying things on sale, um, learn to forage. There are so many things that people deem as weeds that are not weeds. I mean, a weed is something growing in a place you don't want it to grow, right? So, if, but if you can recognize things that are edible, um, dandelions, clover, purslane, um, nettles, um, I don't know, what else? Um, pine uh, pine tree needles the greens you can make a, a tea that's like super rich in vitamin c pine nuts berries uh, persimmons i mean like there's just all kinds of things you just go out in the woods somewhere and you will find all kinds of food um, but just really really you have to make sure that what you're getting is edible and there's lots of really fantastic resources uh, check your library check local um, workshops uh, check your farmer's market for good uh, resources. There's just all kinds of people out there who know like what mushrooms in the wild are actually, that actually won't kill you. Um, but yeah, so many, so many wonderful things that you can do that don't cost anything. Just a little time, uh, a little education, and a little, a little foraging. And it'll be fun. Um, Anyway, all right, you guys, thank y'all so much for hanging out with me. You have definitely, I don't know if y'all saw how much dishes I got washed talking to y'all. Did y'all hear that? Are we on fire? Yeah, look at that. Oh, wait a minute, can you see it? Awesome, 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 awesome. Y'all, I'm so excited. Yep, that is super cool. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get off here again. And thanks to my mods for popping up. Um, you guys are truly a blessing and appreciate y'all so much. Thank y'all for hanging out with me while I got all of these dishes washed. And um, I'm going to get done and then I'm going to cook. And we might film it, maybe. I don't know. But this phone's got to go on a charger. So anyway, let there be dinner. Yes. Amen. 
Amen and amen. Let's see. I want one of the cookers like Jack is using. Yeah, we we um this was my this was my Christmas present from last year. Mm -hmm. So I'm really excited to get to use it for the first time. And it's been almost eight months since I've gotten yeah, it. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. All right, y'all. Thank y'all so much. We'll talk to y'all later. I do have a video. I actually have a clean with me video coming out. Saying Probably, goodbye is so hard. It's my goodbye tour. I have a uh cleaning video coming out tomorrow i just i felt like doing one and it was fun and so hopefully you guys enjoy it too mm -hmm. all right bye guys see y'all